Oh, hey, look, I have a Patreon now. That's cool. Hey there, are you a manly masculine man with testosterone and muscles? <laughs> I sure am, which is why I know all about Thor from Norse mythology, the manliest god who only ever does distinctly male things. Also, my name's Jake. I forgot to mention that. It's very important. The gods were in the business of making sure the world doesn't get destroyed, but unfortunately the Jotnar had a knack for making their job difficult. So it became Thor's responsibility to go out into Jotunheim every once in a while and commit some violent murder, in the name of peace. And he was really good at his job thanks to his magic hammer Mjolnir. But one night, somebody snuck into his house while he was sleeping and stole it. Oh, good morning. Honey, where's my hammer? Don't you have it right there? This is a ruler and a can of beans taped together to form the approximate shape of my hammer. Loki! Gah! I'm sorry I shaved down the outsoles of your boots to make you feel slightly shorter and harm your sensitive masculinity. What? Oh, nothing. What did you want to ask about? My hammer is missing. Did you steal it? Ah, I wish. That's a way better prank than the entirely hypothetical one I just mentioned. Yeah, except for the fact that I need my hammer to make sure the Jotnar don't end the world. Also, I like killing things. Oh, yeah, the world ending is definitely not something I want to happen. At least not until somebody finishes writing my favorite fantasy series, Patrick. Then Loki decided to investigate, so they traveled into Jotunheim, where they encountered Thrym, king of the Jotnar. Oh, hey, Loki, how are things going back in Asgard? <laughs> Suspicious chuckling. Did you steal Thor's hammer, Thrym? Yep, while he was sleeping, I swapped it with a ruler taped to a can of beans to form the approximate shape of his hammer. Damn, I should have thought of that. Well, look, you're gonna have to return it, because Thor needs it to murder your people. Oh sure, I'll be happy to hand it over, to whoever can present me the goddess Freya's hand in marriage. Oh god, you're an incel. I take offense to your derogatory use of that word. Now if you'll excuse me, I have stuff to do. So Loki went back to Thor and told him the news, and then the two of them went to Freya and decided to come up with a plan of their own. Hmm, it'll be tough to get your hammer back without Freya, but I think I know another way we could do it, but I'm not sure if you'll be a fan of my idea. I'll do anything to get my hammer back! I'll do anything to get my hammer back except for this! Oh, relax, it won't be that bad. I happen to be an expert in the art of femininity, so just follow my lead and it'll be over before you know it. Wait, why am I the one pretending to be Freya if you can shapeshift? Uh, oh hey look, we're here and they see us, can't change course now. Finally, my beautiful bride has arrived. Wait a second, you don't look anything like the pictures I've seen. You're even more beautiful in person. <sighs> Wait, I don't know how to feel about that. And then, before the ceremony, Thrym invited his lovely bride and her maid to a great feast. Our entree for this evening is your choice between the braised ox short rib and the honey glazed salmon filet. And for our sides, we have... Huh, that was pretty good. Do you have any more beer? Someone, uh, drank all of it. I gotta admit, I didn't expect my lovely Freya to have such a large appetite. Oh, well, that's just because she's been so excited to meet her handsome Alpha Chad groom that she hasn't been able to eat for the past nine days, and now she's just ravenous. You know what I think? I think that's pretty hot. Oh, all right, well, I'm not gonna tell you not to feel that way. You could. Do you, Thrym, take Freya to be your lawfully wedded wife? Hell yeah, I do. And do you, Freya, take Thrym to be your lawfully wedded husband? Till death do us part. Tight, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You can make out now. Oh boy, I've been waiting for this part. Ugh! Her eyes make her look like she wants to crush me to death with her bare hands! Would you be into that? Huh, actually, I think I might be. Okay, I think it's time to exchange wedding presents now! Ah, of course. As promised, I present to you Thor's famous hammer. Where is that guy anyway? I would have thought he'd come here to get it himself. Oh, he's here all right. And he's been looking forward to this moment all day. Oh, well that explains a lot. But you know what, I've discovered a lot about myself today and I don't think this is a deal breaker. Ow, I'm dead now, but I'm still kinda turned on. And then, reunited with Mjolnir, Thor used this opportunity to catch up on his Jotun killing quota. Whew, that feels better. This is the first time I've had to go longer than three hours without murdering something. Have you ever considered therapy? Thanks for watching my video. If you like my content, consider joining my Patreon so you can be cool like my $5 tier patrons, Garrett and Victoria. Thanks by the way, Garrett and Victoria, you two are cool. Okay, bye.